So they begin their season two wins, four losses. Since then, 12 and four for your fighting Phillies. We welcome you to Phillies Post Game Live, presented by Cure Auto Insurance. Ruben Amaro Jr., I'm Michael Barkan. In a moment, Michael Jack Schmidt, Ben Davis will join us as well. Ruben, take it any way you want it. Eight and two homestand. They've won six straight. They look real good. They've swept two series now as they go to Cincinnati, whether it's Aaron Nola, Alec Bohm, Trey Turner, Schwarber with the home run. They've been impressive. It's almost like a broken record, but a nice broken record. I mean, they, uh, the pitching was outstanding again today. Aaron Nola just absolutely dealing. And then they're getting contributions from somebody different every single night on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball, almost flawless baseball. And, you know, this is exactly what championship caliber teams do. They're playing excellent ball. Um, on all sides of it, and it's just fun to watch, especially when the guys on the bump, the guys as starting pitchers are dealing the way they are. Michael, it's been a joy. Yeah, let's go to the greatest third baseman to ever play the game across the street. Was in the booth today, as usual, Sundays with Schmidt, Michael Jack Schmidt. Mike, when you look at this Hi, one, I'll tell you what, I, I love watching Trey Turner acting like a school kid talking to you. He's like, yes, Mr. Schmidt, uh, yeah. I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't quite think so. I will try to get the catcher with two hands, Mr. Schmidt. I won't roll over. <laughs> but when you, when oh, you, you, did, you, you, you didn't miss that one, huh? You know, I, thought it, sometimes... I thought that's the respect, though. You know, my friend, that's the respect you are given and deserve. Uh, what well, did you think about the, about the way your guys played today? Nice. Uh, you know, that's one of those setup games, you know, where you're playing an under 500 team that's not doing well this year. You win, you beat them the first two. They start out the third game with a two to nothing lead with a home run. And you go, oh, my God, this is a game we should win easily. And, you know, sometimes in past years, we've seen the Phils have trouble in a series like this. Uh, at home and you wonder how this can happen but boom 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 we come back and before you know it it's three to two and uh so that's a sign of a, of a team doing what it needs to do beat the teams you're supposed to beat michael uh, they've been playing great defense uh, over the yeah. last stretch or so talk about how important it is for the for the pitchers whoever it is on that mound to be throwing strikes and what it's like for you defensively at third base at short wherever um in the outfield how important that is for you guys yeah. to be sharp yeah. Well, if the pitchers are throwing strikes, the ball's being put in, the, in play, I guess, more often would be one way to look at it. And uh, you, you start getting into the whole defensive side of the game, and guys are having a ball playing defense in each position. Uh, Bryce Harper, we talked about how good he's doing at first base. He picked, uh, he's in a rhythm over there now. He's picking, uh, you know, bad throws and making moves around first base, diving for balls, and he's very active in the infield defense. Of course, the other three guys always are. And our outfield defense is fantastic, um, even though one of our players forgot how many outs there were. And that's one of those things. <laughs> you'll, you'll, uh, you'll, he'll never forget for a while. So, uh, you know, we got three great outfielders. And on the defensive side of the game, everything's looking really good right now. Let's uh, hope we keep it that way. Um, what is the domino effect, and how good is it for the bullpen for these starters to go so deep into the games? I mean, long, short-term and long-term effect. Well, you know how important the bullpen is in today's game, without a doubt. You know, with starters generally in the fifth, sixth, somewhere when they get to, you know, 85, 90, 95 pitches, you got to go to the bullpen. And I would say probably 70% of the games played nowadays uh, are, are decided on who's got the best bullpen. And, uh, of course, our starters are setting records right now uh, against the rest of the league in terms of ERA and, and uh, you know, performance. And... Uh, our bullpen, of course, is not that far off either. They're, they're, they're doing quite well, but the bullpens decide a lot of games. And starters throwing strikes, and like Nolan did, uh, Nola today went eight innings. Bullpen sitting out there. Nobody had to throw today. Uh, nobody had to warm up except Marte. Uh, so these kind of games are great for resting bullpen arms. We talk about beating the sub-500 teams, but we didn't talk yeah. about stomping out the sub-500 teams, which is what <laughs> they've done the past six games. They're averaging six-plus runs per game in that amount of time. Yeah. Obviously, now they go on the road. They take on Cincinnati. They're above 500. They're going to have a more difficult time. Is there anything we can draw conclusion-wise from what they've done during this homestand? 
Absolutely. They got nice momentum heading on a, 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 a three-city road trip. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of nice momentum. The other thing is almost all of our hitters now have been contributing. Everybody feels good about themselves as a hitter right now, and our starters feel good too. We couldn't have any more momentum than we have heading out on the road. And that's what you get when you face sub-500 teams and you beat them. You know, you got a, a great chance of getting some hits, some knocks, some stats going up. Uh, you, you, you know, you just look at yourself as a more confident hitter mm-hmm. after these series. So uh, I'm looking for it, uh, you know, to continue as we go to Cincinnati. The joy of talking to Mike Schmidt. You know how often I quote you with the in Philadelphia is the, the only city where you can experience the thrill of victory oh, and yeah. the agony of reading about it the next day? It's so true. <laughs> it's so true. But it's what makes this city so great, and you captured it in a, in a sentence. Did I say that? Yeah, you did. You did. You did. I, I mean, you know. That was on. a lie. <laughs> no, it's true, but it's a beautiful part about Philadelphia. All right, I'm sad we won't be talking to you until they get back home, but I'll, I'll have to. Yeah. I'll, I'll suck it up. All right, my friend. It's a great Thanks, day. The fanatic drew, fanatic drew 46,000 people today. Isn't How that about that? And I love the cap. Can you imagine in your day wearing a cap with the Fanatics logo on it? Out in the field? Uh, probably not. Yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, but I, don't think I, so. I tell you what, I tell you what, I got four or five of them right now. I got them last time I was in town, so I'm looking forward to using them on the golf course. I like it. Nice. I like it. All right, Michael Jack, thanks, thanks so Michael. much. Always great to talk to you. See you, Ruben. See you, Michael. You got it. The Take great care. Mike Schmidt. You too, my friend. The great Mike Schmidt. Look at the home cooking. An 8-2 win caps off an 8-2 and two home stand. 5.1 runs per game during the homestand, but six plus during this six game win streak. And the opponents, they're less than four runs per game, Ruben. Starters ERA 1.52 and 15 home runs. Yeah, just great numbers across the board. Obviously, the record is the most important part. Uh, eight and two win in eight out, out of 10 games. You know, when you look at the record before the season starts, you start thinking about, you know, where can we make some hay? It almost never happens that. You know, that you play as well as you would hope to in this situation for them to go back to back series and win every single game again. Not tremendous teams, teams that are on the rebuild, but that doesn't matter. You got to win baseball games. They played beautiful uh, defense. They, they pitched outstanding baseball, and uh, and the timely hitting was excellent. I mean, that's the combination that's going to win games, it's going to win championships. And Michael said it. Michael Jack, he said, listen, this can, can create a momentum as they move forward in a very tough, uh, you know, long, long uh, road trip. It's not easy to win on the road, and especially when you go out to the West Coast, which they will be doing in the su- latter part, um, it's good to have this kind of momentum. Three and one for Aaron Nola. He comes in with a 3.47 ERA. It goes down to 3.16, better part of a half run down. Pretty good. Here's Rob Thompson on his team's win today. Starting with this uh, home stand, just finishing strong. Yeah, eight and two. Um, yeah, we played really, really well the, the entire time. We got great pitching, starting pitching, um, really good at bats. Played exceptional defense today. Alec Bohm and Harp digging balls out of the dirt, and um, I, I just thought we were really good. You play a team. You hear at the end of the year um, that every game matters the same. You have to get your wins when you can. Play a team like this. Is there almost like an underscore of pressure that you have to sweep them off? Yeah, I, I was just telling KG, you know, you go into a series and, and you're playing a team that hasn't been playing well. You know, I, I get a little fearful of how you're going to respond, and our guys responded really well. So, um, you know, just got to keep it going. But, um, yeah. Think about sending all back up no, I want a little bit of a pullback, and um, and we got it. I mean, he he pitched great, threw a lot of strikes, curveball was good, um, and plus we're getting to the point now where we got to get some of our bullpen guys some work, you know. So um, and he was he was good with it. Um, so he, I really wasn't thinking. I was actually thinking about taking him out after seven, but. Um, to give him a real nice pullback, but um, but his he was, his stuff was still good. Well, I, I, yeah, I mean you don't want to have them taxed, but I think 
you know, you, you see Marte today, he was a little bit rusty, I, I would think. And, and um, the last couple of days when our guys have had three, four days off, five days off for, for Pinto, they can get a little rusty. So um, although you love the starting pitching, there is a little bit of a, an effect on the bullpen. How crucial do you think that response was in the bottom of the first just to give up two? But then... Yeah, it was huge. It really was. I mean, you just changed the momentum right away. And, uh, and I thought, like I said, I thought we we played great defense. We had good at-bats, ran the bases extremely well, uh, stolen bases, and not only that, but taking uh, extra bases on over th- when they overthrow cutoff men and going first to third on base hits and uh, played very aggressively. And that's what you have to do. On a play there. I know you guys have done this for the first and third. That was not a play. They they just reacted to it. I think Bryce got a little bit of a, a uh, um, slow jump or, or didn't get a very good jump, and and Trey reacted to it. So uh, they ran it right, but we didn't put that play on. That's the right thing for Bryce. Sort of he stopped. He ends up just stopping short there. Yeah, and then we try to create something. And Trey left at, at the right time. You say, you know, you get a little fearful sometimes when a struggling team comes in. Do you believe in the fact, though, that maybe a struggling team can get a team started? You know, I mean, we were, a week ago we were talking about your offense, and it was a good week for your offense. Yeah. So do yeah. you believe in the fact that, you know, you kind of feast a little bit sometimes when teams come in that struggle? Yeah, I think so. You know, it, it can happen. I, I didn't I didn't feel like we were struggling going into the Colorado series. Um, but if we were, you know, that type of thing can happen. Rob Thompson on the Fanatics' birthday, very pleased with the way Aaron Nola pitched, his team ran the bases, the way his team hit the baseball, all that culminating in an 8-2 Phillies win. 